There were a lot of fantastic films that came out in the 1990s, but not all of them set the box office on fire. So let's go ahead and take a look at the 10 biggest box office bombs of the 1990s. Instinct had a lot going for it with a great cast and a lovely score by composer Danny Elfman, but it was ultimately held back by a mediocre script and self-serious tone. Chill Factor could have been an enjoyable popcorn movie, but instead it just feels like a slog. With The Astronomer's Wife, even the star power of Johnny Depp and Charlize Theron was not enough to rescue it at the box office. Dudley Do Right certainly didn't do right by audience standards, which is to be expected as its slapstick humor was largely too dumb even for most children. Father's Day had potential for sure, but the movie falls short in practically every way despite featuring the rock star team up of director Ivan Reitman and stars Rob Williams and Billy Crystal. Jack Frost is a smoldering train wreck. The snowman is unsettling and not in a good way, seeing as how it managed to be as unnerving, if not more so, than the horror movie the same name that came out a year earlier. Beloved was a commercial flop, but not for a lack of quality. Featuring a fantastic cast and solid directing, it just didn't manage to land with audiences in a way that it needed to. Many of the scenes in The Postman are laughable, but Kevin Costner clearly isn't in on the joke. It aspired to be Dances with Wolves meets Mad Max, but collapses under the weight of its own self-importance. 13th Warrior definitely adds some high production values and is overall a fun flick, but it's held together by a painfully mediocre story that ultimately hurt it more than it helped. And finally, we have a movie that is famous purely for being a colossal flop, Cutthroat Island, a mediocre at best pirate film that not only managed to do basically everything wrong, but also effectively killed off the pirate movie genre for almost a decade. 